Good morning guys. Welcome to Homesteading Off the Grid. I'm doing a before and after video here in reverse. Um, this winter, actually four months ago to the day, on February 1, 2018, you can see here, it's June 1, 2018, and you can check the date on YouTube in which, on which this video was uploaded uh, for other proof to show I didn't manipulate my watch, but four months ago to the day, we treated our holly trees with wood ash because the leaves were yellowing, and so we made like a seven minute long video uh, talking about the benefits of using wood ash to treat potassium deficiencies, which evergreens such as holly will often experience in the wintertime due to a lack of potassium and other nutrients going into the root system because mostly due to a, a lack of uh, precipitation. Um, we got a comment on, it was either that video or the video we made about wood ash. You can make uh, wood ash tea um, to, to do the same thing. Somebody commented, I wish you would do a before and after video so we could see if this would really work. So that's why I'm wearing a toboggan in the middle of June. This is the after video four months later. This is the actual angle at which we shot the first video, but the sun's back there, so I don't know if you're going to see very well. But um, I'm going to link the before video to the last 20 seconds of this with this really cool uh, Gizmo YouTube has called in screen annotation. So fast forward to like the last 20 seconds or so and you'll see a little video pop up. That was the original video four months ago, but I'm going to show you the after the results of the wood ash treatment now. So look at this beautiful, full, bushy, entirely green holly tree. I'm going to show you a couple of them because in the first video we showed you several. But look, you can still see the residue of the wood ash down here that we use this winter and in the, the video at the end of this you'll you'll see how to do it basically you just put wood ash around the base of your trees water it to let the the nutrients inside the wood ash suck, soak down into the ground and then you just kind of leave it alone we have a little red cedar growing here beside it we're going to keep two but <clears throat> look at the stem that we did not cut any growth off of this this was like this one we bought them these have been here about two years now but here's another one and you can see the wood ash at the base we put this here four months ago to the day just left it there and let uh, nature and time do its work again we cut no limbs off you see there's no cuttings from where we took anything off and look how green and plush and beautiful that tree is look at that green 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 so we definitely had a potassium deficiency and we treated them, we treated all of them with the wood ash and again just plush green holly and obviously the treatment worked. So um, when I saw that comment I didn't take it as like a trollish type comment. I thought you know that's a good idea. We're showing all these things to do. Maybe we should do some follow up videos and show that they actually work. So that's what this is all about. There you still see some wood ash residue. Again, no cuttings. So I could go all the way down the row, but I'm not going to. Um, so this, maybe you can see this one better because we're in shade of a big maple tree here. But again, wood ash at the base. We put here four months ago. We did not cut any dead or yellowing growth off the tree. And they're coming back thick and juicy and flush and just gorgeous. And we'll end with a parting shot of our man-made forest, over 200 trees that we personally dug up from our wood line surrounding our homestead and transferred down here over a period of about two months, more than two years ago, that are growing really, really good right now. It's beautiful. I just want to show it to you because it's a lot of hard work and dedication. And look at this, we transplanted a mulberry tree and it's actually producing mulberries this year. Isn't that something? Be patient. Plant those trees. Here's a little poplar we thought was dead. We snipped it off the top. It's grown back. So anyway, I got my point across. Wood ash treatments on yellowing evergreen such as holly really does work. Put it around the base of the tree. Water it. Be patient. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to us from Homesteading Off the Grid. And we'll see you next time.